Hello everyone and welcome to my Lego room and today I had a little bit of extra time and so I thought what I would do is do another puzzle build of a set that is pretty exciting. Um, I have never obviously owned this set before so it's a pretty exciting time and I just wanted to share it with you while I did it. Um, normally I would just build these things on my own or puzzle build them on my own but I'm like hey I bet everybody else would like to do that. So I just, uh, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Uh, I need somewhere to put that. Okay. Uh, we can put that That's right. Right over there. All right. So today we're going to be puzzle building the 60205 tracks, uh, railroad tracks. So um, this should be pretty interesting. It, I, I'm pretty confident about it, but there could be some hidden things. Um, you know, we'll never know uh, until we actually get into the build itself. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so, all right, this is a, a pretty interesting set. Uh, what I like about it is it's got these really cool flexible tracks. I don't know if you can see them right there. Uh, they actually bend in really neat and interesting ways. So I figured we'd go ahead and give it a try. Um, oh, it does have the little thumb holes. So we're going to use those first. All right. Okay. Well, that is interesting. I think this is my very first set that didn't have any bags in it. Wow. <laughs> All right. You know what? I've always kind of liked the little pins that come on these, on these tracks. I don't know if uh, you guys are familiar with it. But the pins, the, the tracks are actually held together. Ah. Oh, come on. Usually just pop off, right? Oh, they're not coming apart. Man, I knew we'd run into some issues uh, today. I just uh, didn't think it would be this fast. Oh, man. These are actually really, really tight together. Ah. Whew. That took a lot more effort than I thought it would. That is for darn sure. Oh, there we go. Oh, but then uh, once you get that first one off, they come right out. So these are uh, some interesting little pins. I haven't used them in any mocks yet, but uh, they're Lego and they're made of the ABS. So I think we gotta find a way to use them on something. Okay, definitely. All right, now if we look at the box okay so the pins were removed oh man can you imagine if i had messed that up and the pins weren't removed from the actual set all right so we're going to place these over here like this and then this one has got kind of a weird angle on it I'm trying to man i don't even know if i can oh yeah there we go nice okay okay we got that um i'm gonna see if i can actually do it so you guys can see that a little bit so here we go um just right there ish right about there and then we come with this awesome okay hey that looks pretty close right all right let's take a look at the box here like that boom uh, maybe uh, on a slight slight more of an angle here if we turn it like so okay that's all right that's all right no problem no problem we got it all right that's really awesome Okay, and then, let's see, we need to take the pins out of the straight tracks. Oof, I can't believe how hard that was last time. Oh, oh, that was much easier. That was much better. I guess it was just those curved tracks, not the, the bad ones. Uh, then we put all of them back on top of each other, make sure they're nice and straight. All right, and they go right behind that one. A little bit back, a little bit back on that. So there you go. Oh, that slipped. Ah, this is the problem with puzzle building sometimes. All right, then we'll remove that track there. Okay. Pull the pins out. See, I'm getting better at it as we go. That's the nice part when they repeat uh, building steps. That's, that's a really good, really helpful thing for them to do. And then it looks like, I think, it goes right in line with that one right there. It looks that way. I mean, there may be a little bit of discrepancy here just because I can't quite get them as straight as it shows on the box. I wonder, if, uh, I don't know if I'm missing something or if I'm just not seeing it right. Ah, 
I just can't get them. This one especially, that one just keeps slipping right down. Man, I wonder if that's one of those things where Lego like made a digital version of it and didn't actually, uh, you know, <laughs> take a picture of it, but just build it digitally. Sometimes they do, sometimes they do, especially on the instructions, I've noticed. All right, well, I just can't get that to stay. That's just gonna have to be part of the part of the ten percent. That's all right. Okay, uh, next up we have the cool. Oh no! Catastrophic failure. Ah, that's okay. It's all right. It happens. You know, it's probably because they don't have the same structural stuff as the actual set. That's definitely, <laughs> definitely probably what's happening here. Okay. So we have these cool flexible tracks. I've never had these before. I've never used these before. But my kids, when they're building tracks, they have a hard time trying to make these tracks, the tracks line up with each other because they're always just a little bit off. They haven't quite figured out the mathematics of it yet. But that's okay. I mean, they're kids. And we can definitely uh, have these make it a little bit easier for them. Now, it looks like this one is on just a... Just uh, slight angle. No, no, they're tweaked all the way. So we have those two over here. Right, let's move our extra pieces out of the way. We have our two double stack right over here. I have to move things back a little bit in a minute. But that's okay. We can deal with that later. And then we got to make sure that these are all going the same direction. Nope. We have two of them. See, this is something that you can miss sometimes on the if you're not using the instructions. So as you can see, the, each one of these little hinges has a little smiley face in there or a little hot dog macaroni kind of thing and you got to make sure that's going the right direction so we can see that it's facing inwards on the first one outwards on the other two and then inwards again on the last so we just need to make sure that we follow that exactly because uh, even though it may look like it's not important you never know so I always make an effort to uh, make it exactly the way that the box shows since I'm not using the instructions, that could be a big issue. All right, here we go. All right, right there-ish. Yeah, okay, all right. That's that's pretty good. That looks pretty close. Make sure those go back where they go. Excellent. And then we can't see underneath it, so there's really no way to do it other than just to copy it. Um, I, I just have to look at it later and see if that's how they like to do it or not. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what? There is a right and wrong way to do this, and I am doing it the wrong way, apparently. What the heck? I don't... Oh, there we go. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> I could not figure it out. But unfortunately, it says it goes the other way. Does that still work? Okay, see, here's the... See, that's another thing, too. On these uh, flexible tracks, they have an inside and outside and it's offset from each other so no matter which way you hold it the right side will be the outside and the left will be the inside so that was my problem is i was trying to like stick them on the inside on both of them or the outside on both but there are offset ones on the inside ones on the outside get that on ah oh, man it's the the problem of puzzle building man all right let's get that right there i think yeah that's pretty close I think we've got it just about there. Just going to try to, you know, I'm going to try one more time to fix this last thing. I think we've got the time to make sure that that is happening. All right. Okay. Ah, oh, dang, I just cannot get this part. What am I not seeing here? What am I not What am I not doing that Lego did? Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, you know what? Is it back even farther? It's like clear over here. Oh, no wonder I'm having problems. Okay. That's, I think, ah, oh, dang, that's really close. Maybe these are a little bit further apart. All right, let's try that. Ah, ha, ha. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's practically identical to the box. I show you the box. I show you the, the parts. I show you the box. Oh, I knocked it off again. I show you the parts. Uh, now if I wasn't so clumsy, I'd be a lot better at this. All right, one last time, one last time. We'll get this, I promise, guys. I promise we're gonna get this. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, come on. All right, yes, okay.
That's pretty good. All right, I'll try this one more time. I'll be a little more careful. All right, there's the box with all the parts, and there's our stacks. Look at that. Holy cow, I think that was a 100% puzzle build. And in record time, I've only been recording for like 10 minutes. Ah, so amazing. All right, well, thank you so much for hanging out with me in the leg room today. I was ha so happy I was able to do this puzzle build. Um, so we have the 60205 tracks. It's just labeled tracks. There's nothing fancy, no like flexible track or anything. It's just called tracks. 20 pieces. Took me about 10 minutes start to finish with the video. So puzzle build. Um, you know what? I'm going to give this a, t a 10 out of 10 on the, uh, on the puzzle build aspect. You can do this 100%. Difficulty? Um, I'd say it's about, you know, I'd say it was about a two or a three, but man, with that one track that just wouldn't stay on, I, I I'm probably going to have to go with, uh, with a four on the difficulty on this one. So, uh, but as far as the recommendation, uh, the tracks look really cool. Um, I really like the idea of the flexible tracks being able to, you know, uh, wiggle around a little bit and, uh, you, you can even keep the ends straight and just get that little adjustment when your math was just a little bit off or when you're setting it up on a, a rough area like carpet or something and it can make up the difference in the in the gaps there it's a fantastic piece i'm really excited to have those as part of uh, my lego collection so my kids can be able to make their uh, tracks quite a bit easier uh, so all right well uh again thank you so much for hanging out in the leg room again i highly recommend it i think there's about i think these are about 20 bucks for the set if you need tracks and you need flexible tracks there's really no other way to get that so uh, lego's kind of got you over a barrel in that way all right well uh, that's it thank you so much for checking it out i know i probably said that already four times but that's what happens when you live stream or when you do a live recording <laughs> without any uh editing so uh until we see you next time in the lego room play well bye choo choo